Welcome back guys. Today in this video tutorial, I'm gonna start up a new sensor that is SI7020 A20. Now in the previous videos, I have done a lot of digital sensors for humidity and temperature. So let's add a new one to this list to explore the sensor and its features and what's it's that. Uh, let's have a look over the website that is controlleverything.com and here search for the above sensor which we are going to explore today and let's see what we got for that as you see it's a humidity and temperature sensor plus minus 4% RH plus minus 0.4 degrees Celsius is the accuracy is the precision of this sensor you can see the range for humidity and temperature and excellent long term stability now these are some of its features which we are going to look about and you can purchase this sensor from this very site from here I will be interfacing the sensor humidity and temperature sensor SI7020 A20 with an Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino code. So let's have a look over the resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can download the Arduino code sample as a zip file from here. This is the link provided. Also you can have the opportunity to download the code from GitHub repository that is called control everything community. Now. We want to set up a hardware connection along with this sensor so that we can proceed with the interfacing of this sensor with the code. Let's have it. This here is our sensor that is SI7020 A20 humidity and temperature sensor. Now next we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C that is Arduino Nano we require an I2C shield. So for that we can also purchase this I2C shield from controleverything.com and it's available there. Now why we use this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices and rather make that connection a lot easier. So gently press the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now we need a connecting cable so that we can have a connection between the sensor and the I2C shield and a rule has to be followed for making this connection. That says that while making a connection among the sensor and the cable, we should be sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this rule for I2C sheet. So finally we need to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes some mini USB cable into the picture and gently insert it over the power jack. So we are done with the hardware connections part. Now what do we require is our code so that we can have the interfacing and the working part. Let's have it. So now we have the hardware setup required for the interfacing. The next thing you gonna want to do is to interface the sensor with the required Arduino code. So for that let's have a visit over the website that is github.com and here we have to search for the official repository from control everything.com that is control everything community now here type in SI7020 and we can have our sensor and here comes the Arduino code we would like to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow for this code which says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on the local machine and the steps are being provided on this link as you can see www.arduino.cc now let's have a look over this link so that all the required clarifications are to be done so it's opening as you can see you can download the Arduino software you can install it on Windows Mac Linux operating system all you want is to download it and install now the relevant information the commands the instructions are being provided here please note it down carefully now as we are done with the instructions get back to the Arduino code and it's a dot Arduino extension file I will explain step by step all the code please have a look over this now first thing you notice that we have included wire.h libraries and along with that all the relevant applications and the formulas everything will be understood so after that we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x40 we have set up a void setup function and initialized i2c communication as master along with initialization of serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600 now we have started the i2c transmission and after that we have stopped it as you can see now in the void loop function we have sent the command so that the sensor can identify it 
we have sent humidity measurement command that is no hold master and the command for that is 0x f5 you can see we have written it after that there is a delay and after delay we have requested and read two bytes of the data from the sensor it's a general calling as you can see it's a humidity data and we have the conversion of humidity data which is according to the data sheet the formulas the details provided there for si 7020a20 similarly we have followed the procedure for the second part that is the calculation and determination of temperature data we have sent temperature measurement command no hold master mode that is 0x f3 after that uh, we have a delay of 500 milliseconds and we have requested and read two bytes of general data for temperature and here comes the conversion of the temperature according to the formulas we have seen in the data sheet so we have the reading writing and the calculation part of the data for humidity and temperature now it's the time to have the data output to be displayed on the serial monitor that in the form of relative humidity which is in percentage RH along with the temperature which is in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is the format we are going to do and we will have the output to be displayed on the screen. So this is a very simple and generalized code you can familiarize with it as you uh, see it. Now what do we need is to show the practical working of this sensor along with this code. Let's have a look over that also. Now that comes the interesting part which is the practicality of this working code. So first of all copy this entire Arduino code. Copy it. Now open up the Arduino here. Now what do we have to paste the Arduino code here as you can see on my screen. Save the Arduino code. Name it SI7020 for the reference. And here we go and verify and compile this Arduino code. It's done. Now upload the code. While uploading it might take a while so that we can wait. Now it's done uploading. Now what do we require to see the check the serial monitor for the output and let's have it. As you can see we have the relative humidity in percentage RH along with temperature in degree Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. Now the data is being printed as you can see displayed on the serial monitor. Now let's have a look over the changes while I exhale over the sensor. As I exhale over the sensor, as you can notice, there's a change in relative humidity along with temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's again changing. So what do we notice that the code is working fine and this is how the sensor responds to an Arduino code. So why not we have a look over the benefits, the features and the reason why we use this sensor for a lot of applications. Let's watch it. The SI7020 I2C humidity and temperature sensor is a monolithic CMOS IC integrating humidity and temperature sensor elements and analog to digital converter, signal processing, calibration data and an I2C interface. The patented use of industry standard low K polymeric dielectrics for sensing humidity enables the construction of low power monolithic CMOS sensor ICs with low drift and hysteresis and excellent long-term stability. These applications are like HV, ACR, thermostats, respiratory therapy, microenvironments, automotive, climate control and defogging, asset and good tracking, indoor weather stations and a lot more. So now you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com as you can see on my screen. And also you can get the code from the resource tab and after that you can download it. You can get the code from GitHub repository that is called Control Everything Community. So in the end I just thought that I would like to make it clear that in case you guys are kind feeling like you are left without fully understanding any part of this code or this video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com. And you can post your comments on the community page. Now, for blogs, articles which are relevant to this video, you can contact us on instructables.com. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. You and yourself have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.